Good morning class. Did everyone enjoy reading about lichens and liverworts? Yes. I think there should be a movie about it. Excellent. Then this pop quiz should be a breeze. I hate pop quizzes. Excuse me class. I have a phone call to answer. I'll be back. Sorry everyone. It was inconvenient of me to answer that call, but it was important. Anyways, I have a surprise for you all. What is it? I'm getting married. Whoa. Mister, you're getting married. And you didn't tell us. Actually, I already did. Teachers don't get married. It's just... wrong. You know they have lives outside teaching class, right? Probably not. They don't even sleep. They just go into low power mode and watch documentaries. That's crazy. But the real question is, who on earth would want to marry Mr. Stewart? Quick, we have to hide. They're coming. Hi there. May I take your order? Give us a few minutes, sir. I would like green tea steeped for precisely three and a half minutes, an order of chipotle chicken shrimp pasta, and some clean silverware. And I would like a blackberry lemonade. Also, I'll have a medium well ribeye steak with a side of fries. Okay. I'll be back with your food. Now, what did you think of the caterer we met? As far as I know, he's a pretty nice guy. Ha! Huh. I wouldn't feed my leftover tuna salad to a stray cat. Speaking of cats, all they ever do is laze around the house, hop up on furniture, and claw away at their scratching posts. The sound of them cocking up hairballs is one you will never forget. Miss Sakurada, not everything about you has to be... well, perfect. Stuart, did you really have to say that? I must confess, I expected more of you. You're too soft, Mr. Stuart. Too easy going. We need to toughen you up. I wonder what Miss Sakurada meant when she said she was going to toughen up Mr. Stuart. I don't know, but that doesn't sound good. We need ideas, people. Ideas. If Mr. Stewart marries Miss Sakurada, we're doomed. She did seem kind of harsh, but we really don't know her other than the fact that she taught a lesson about sleep and how it boosts the immune system with help from a guest star, who is none other than Megamin Star Network 2323. That's not the point. She said she was going to toughen Mr. Stewart up. So you're saying that Stewart plus Sakurada equals unbearable? Pretty much, but can you imagine what a tougher Mr. Stewart would be like? That's beyond me. Your guess is as good as ours. Okay, how do we stop this wedding? Well, we could make Miss Sicurata the opposite of what Mr. Stewart was looking for, like this. Hey Cream, why does she look like that? I found a picture of a school teacher in a green dress and I made a few touches with Photoshop to make it look good. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Great idea Cream. But just one photo might not be enough. Now let's get down to business. Our plan is in motion. Do you have the right supplies? Well, I have a book and you have a recorder. What could go wrong? Good. Now let's go. Excuse me, Mr. Stewart. Could you help us out? What is it Mighty and Meta Knight? Can you record this for us? Sure thing. All done. Mr. Stewart 
He's not who you think he is. HMM. I wonder who that was, and why did they give this to me? Let me put it into my laptop. Miss Sakurada, I have something to tell you. My head's filled with horrible noises, there's a man mashing melons inside, someone keeps drumming on bongos and plumbing. As porpoises thrash in the tide. An elephant herd is stampeding. A volcano is blowing its top. And if I keep hitting my head with this hammer, I doubt that my headache will stop. How does she feel? Is she heartbroken or super angry? I can't believe what I just saw on that video. It looks like someone does not want me to marry Mr. Stewart. Who could it be? Oh no. We need to try another strategy. Time to switch to plan B. You really think this will work? Sure. Mr. Stewart and Benetta the librarian are a perfect match. We just have to make him see that she's a much better fit for him than Miss Meanie. Welcome to Shakara's Chocolate Shop. I sell chocolates for any occasion, or just because you love chocolate. Want a free sample? Sure thing. Wow, it's delicious. Shokora, what do you call this one in particular? It's an orange cream made with semi-dark organic tossed in chocolate, hazelnut flavored caramel, and pretzel bats. It's my signature recipe that I call the scallop orange. We'll take it. Shall I give top it? Or, if it's just for you, I'll give you some napkins and a glass of milk. No, it's for our teacher. And our librarian. Ah, some of my favorite people. Can I ask what the occasion is? We're playing matchmakers. I strongly love chocolate, but I don't know if it can make people fall in love. That is, unless it's Valentine's Day. But we're desperate. Gotcha. Well, I hope love wins out. Good luck and have a nice day. You too. Don't forget to check out the Liverwurst exhibit at the library, Mr. Stewart. He means Liverwurst. Do you want to go? Our librarian Bayonetta makes the best exhibits. Oh, and for your information, there's also chocolate and apple grape juice waiting for you once you get to the library. Sorry, but I can't. I'm too busy with wedding preparations right now. Oh, and do you mind returning this library book for me? Love Poems by Pablo Neruda? That gives me an idea. Um, where's Mr. Stewart? I thought he would show up by now. He couldn't make it, but at least Cream improvised. Hi Bayonetta, Mr. Stewart wanted me to return this to you, personally. I loved you, and I probably still do. And for a while the feeling may remain. But let my love no longer trouble you. I do not wish to cause you any pain. I loved you, and the hopelessness I knew. The jealousy, the shyness, though in vain. Made up a love so tender and so true. As may God grant you to be loved again. Huh? Poetry for dummies? Oh no! That strategy didn't work either. How are we going to stop the wedding now? Is there a plan C? I don't know. I think we're running out of time. Huh. What's this? Uh-oh. Is this an invitation to the teacher's wedding? Looks like I've got to tell the others.
You're not alone, Meta Knight. We got invitations too. I guess we are all going to a wedding. More like Dawn of the Toughest Teacher Ever. Is there a part where someone objects? Yeah, I saw that on TV. If someone objects, the wedding is over. Then the bride drives away in a new sports car. Huh? huh? It was in a commercial I watched. But who cares? Anyways, it'll be worth it if we work together. Our time has run out, and we have no choice but to reluctantly help Mr. Stewart. Thumbs up. Let's do it. Relax. You look sharp, Mr. Stewart. Ugh. Someone go get me a bucket. I think I'm gonna throw up. Um, guys, the ceremony starts in an hour. Can you hurry up? Actually, we're already finished. I wonder how the bride's doing. Your veil and crown are ready, Miss Sakurada. I also put together the boutonnieres and floral arrangements, one for every guest. Thanks, Toadette. You make a good bridesmaid. You're welcome, Miss Sakurada. How do I look? <coughs> you look beautifully stunning in a wedding dress. Now come here and let me put on your accessories. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think that's just about everyone. Has anyone seen my bride? Is she having second thoughts? Oh, come on. I knew this would happen. Easy, mister. It is tradition for the groom not to see the bride before the ceremony. Speaking of, doesn't the bride usually hide until the big moment? She probably doesn't trust anyone to do a good enough job. Hey Bark, where's your gift? Gifts, Rango. We were supposed to bring gifts. <laughs> huh? Welcome family and friends. Oh, I am so happy to be sharing this day with all of you, especially Mr. Stewart and Miss Sakurada's classes. <coughs> Excuse me? Is there something you'd like to share? Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Come on. Just spit it out already. We? Just wish our teacher good luck. Thanks for your feedback. Anyways, let's get started. Maria, are you okay? Yes, circumference. I'm fine. I always cry at weddings. Miss Sakurada better be a good wife to Mr. Stewart. Yeah, I hope they will be very happy together. beloved, we are invited here today on this very day of joy, to share a very important moment in the lives of these two wonderful people. Their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they have decided to unite and live in holy matrimony. If for any reason they should not be together in marriage, speak now, or forever hold your peace. I. You had your chance, Han. Mr. Stewart, do you take this woman, Patricia Sakurada, to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you love, comfort, honor, and protect her? To have and hold from this day forward, to love and to cherish, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and prosperity and adversity, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. For I, Mr. Stewart, take thee, 
Patricia Sakurada, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth. Now, Patricia Sakurada, do you take this man, Mr. Stewart, to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you love, comfort, honor, and protect him? To have and hold from this day forward, to love and to cherish, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and prosperity and adversity, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. For I, Patricia Sakurata, take thee, Mr. Stewart, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth. Excellent. Now, we will say the ring exchange vows. With this ring I thee wed, I give to you as a token of my love and devotion to you. I pledge to you all that I am and all that I will ever be as yours. Thus, I gladly marry you and join my life to yours. Of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Patricia Sakurada and Mr. Stewart, you both have spoken the words and performed the rites which you now realize it is my honor, and greatest privilege, to now officially pronounce you, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, allow me to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Sakurada. Congratulations to them. Wow, the food they serve at this place is tasty. I agree with you, Mighty. This place is rocking. Me too. It was so worth it. Mr. Stewart is married. I still can't believe it. Totally. I mean, it's a whole new world. But riddle me this. What's the one thing teachers should never, ever do? What is it? Come on, sweetheart. Let's get together on the dance floor. Excuse me, can that knight ask you a question? Sure. What is it? Would it be okay if you made an announcement? I don't see why not. Go ahead. Attention everyone, four of Mr. Sakurada's students have something to say. We care for our teacher, and he deserves to be happy. To be with someone who is nice, kind, and fun to be with. Someone who likes him just the way he is. And that's why the two of you have found each other. After all, my friend Cream was right. You both are very happy together, and as a cute couple too. That was beautiful. Thank you for your heartwarming speeches. I agree with my hubby. Speaking of which, I was searching for one all this time. Just don't let him give us any more homework, Mrs. Sakurada. I can't promise that one. But you might get chocolate from Shakura for doing well on your homework now. That'll work. That's fine by me, Elliptica, Cream, Cheese, and Meta Knight. I love happy endings, especially when they involve Shakura's delectable chocolates. I just love you all. Like, so much, and it's so nice to. Ugh, I can't believe I made Marin the maid of honor. Hey, at least she knew what she was doing earlier. Don't you dare bring that up right now. That was her business, not yours. Gna, 
gonna die prematurely. So like. I feel like I sat here just to rub it in my face. To be fair, she's been crying ever since the groom and bride finished dancing, not unlike Maria. I wish I did something about it earlier. Shut up. Do you want to hear a joke? Of course we do. Tell us. Why didn't the skeleton go to the wedding reception? I don't know. Why didn't it? It was because they had nobody to do it with.